how's it going people? It is the Hoff here and today I finally got something in that is pretty interesting for all of you that love to build custom computers, water cooling, and anything of that sort. So before I get into that, I just want to let you know I'm going to be doing a video that's going to be talking about the quick rise of Bitcoin and after I do that video and I'll post it probably tomorrow. Uh, I'll also have the link in here for Coinbase where you're gonna be able to get your own Bitcoin by buying, selling the Bitcoin using Coinbase. And if you use my referral link, it will get you, I wanna say it's $10 for spending a $100 of US dollars you'll get ten dollars more worth of bitcoin for using that referral link so without further ado let's jump into this so what i'm talking about is the primo chill view scene right here i have it in the uv green so what i did was i got the primo chill view and then i got the system reboot which is supposed to be for those of us that have been running different liquid in your custom loop for a while. This will allow you to put it in your distilled water, mix it up, and then go ahead and run it for 48 hours. It says run at least for 24, but I've heard 48 hours is pretty good. And if you have any more, run it again just to make sure you get all of the other liquid out and then you can run this. Now I will say if you buy this it is highly recommended to not have used Mayhem's uh, Aurora. I don't know about the regular Mayhem dye but I know the Aurora which is the similar look to this they recommend not to have ran that and then switch to this even if you do run the system reboot. I don't know the harmfulness of it but they highly recommend it so they must have done testing and it did not work out too well but also this is used at your own risk so if there's any issues using this they are said to not be held responsible it even says it's on the bottle so without further ado let's show you exactly what the bottle says so it's water-based fluid it is non-toxic environmental friendly it is handmade in small batches for unmatched quality control which is really good it's of course pre-mixed and pre-dyed so they have multiple colors and i will link the website below so you can see all the different colors because mine is the uv green it easily flushes so it says flush clean from loop and as long as you set your loop up properly with the drain which i haven't so i'm gonna have to finagle mine and I have a drain port coming along with accessories for when I do this on my new build that I plan on doing. And then it is natural uh, combatant for microbial growth. So you don't have to worry, hopefully, about anything growing in your system. And you can buy this from the Primo Chill website. So... On the back here, in case you can't read it, it just basically says Primo Chill View was specifically developed for that experienced user looking to create an unrivaled aesthetic in their liquid cold PC. It is environmental friendly fluid that combats issues typically seen in other water cooling fluids. View exclusive water based formulation allows it to stay suspended longer, allowing longevity and easy flush. To any system when needed is unique visually traits view is sure to bring another dimension to any loop. So as you see this one says UV green. So the cool thing about this is it's supposed to do the same thing that Aurora does when you shake it or when it's moving. So there is a little test to show you how it moves. And here, let me do that in maybe a little more color, a little more light. And you can see it better. 
So essentially this is supposed to do the same thing that Mayhem's Aurora does, but Mayhem Aurora breaks down is only supposed to be used for, I want to say it's less than a week, where this is supposed to last for months on end, possibly a year. Now, I've seen YouTubers that got this a couple months back, and they've been testing it, they've been showing it off for marketing, and testing it for Primo Chill, and Jay's Two Cents had nothing but good things to say about it so far. He even tore down his blocks that he ran this on, and they had other liquid in there before he used this. And this, he said, from looking at the blocks before using this and after using this, this actually may have cleaned his block. He's not trying to say it will clean your block. He's saying it looks like it may have cleaned his block. So that is another thing to keep in mind that so far there's been no issues. It hasn't clogged, damaged, or anything for his blocks. So... That is amazing, and I hope to one day be on their level where I would be sent such cool things as this, and I can show them off to you guys because of the fact that you all want to see some great things, and I love to bring it to you, and I love to do giveaways. So this is going to eventually go on my new system, which I have this current system, and... As you see, this is in desperate need to be worked on. I don't want to use this case no more. I would prefer that hopefully my idea of Christmas time coming up soon, I will be able to get the tower, Thermal Take Tower 900, and I will take all the components that are in this case and maybe swap out one of the radiators for a thicker, bigger radiator, and I will use that in the thermal tape tower 900 and it will all fit better and i plan to go on to hardline tubing and this case i plan on using as a giveaway i will probably bundle the fans that were with this case because i've since taken those out along with the fan controller and probably package it well on the inside and make sure it doesn't move around too well and ship it out to the lucky winner that will be US only due to shipping. Because as of right now, just to show you guys, I'm overclocked to 4.8 gigs and the temps can go anywhere from 30 to 40% when it is idle. And as you see, I'm running a 1080 and the temps are really well in the 1080. I got two 360 slim radiators from Hardware Labs and I have EK for the water blocks and bits power for the fitting with the tubing, a uh, very thick tubing, and then EK for the pump reservoir combo. So my idea is to have a bigger reservoir because that is a huge tower and I wanna show off this liquid pretty well and then have hardline tubing and make it all look a lot nicer and cleaner than what I currently have and make it all fit inside the case which it should be able to do and then the lucky winner will get this case which there's nothing wrong with this case I had one issue with this case since owning it and that was just the fact that for some odd reason the lighting system on the case as far as the front logo the side logo the bottom would just shut off and not turn on anymore and the back also lights up for your panels on the back and I just couldn't for whatever reason get it to turn on anymore and they sent me out a new unit for that and it works perfectly um, oh if you see the mouse I had my other mouse RMA and I'm waiting on that to come back in the spoils of dealing with some tech items sometimes it doesn't always want to work and you have to send some stuff in but to each is his own it will come back in shortly and I should be good to go so that is it 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will end the video with a slow-mo of the liquid as I unwrap it and shake and show you the slow-mo glorious liquid. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to check out the Coinbase link and the Bitcoin video coming up.